Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Greg McCloskey from ForexLive.com. This is a Forex quick look. I'm going to take a look at the sterling versus U.S. dollar, so let's get started. The uh, jobs report came in uh, stronger than expected, higher earnings, uh, higher uh, non-farm payroll, 199 versus 180 expected. The uh, unemployment rate fell 3.7% from 3.9%. So strong data. Uh, it sent the dollar initially to the upside. Uh, the sterling versus U.S. dollar fell down. But what do we do? We found support buyers against this trend line uh, support. This trend line connects. This is the uh, one hour chart connects the uh, recent lows in trading this week. Uh, right here, right here, right here, and right here. And lo and behold, everything stopped right on that trend line. The price has uh, rotated back to the top side. Now, uh, this uh, swing area up here between the 125.58 and 125.68 is now a risk defining level. Uh, stay below it is more bearish, move above it, and uh, there's going to be some disappointed traders on the break to the downside uh, today. We are back to uh, testing the 38.2% retracement of the move up from this uh, low right here, which is the November 10th low to the high price, uh, or the high November high right there. That level comes in at 125.24, and as you can see, we're trading right around that level right at the moment. So, uh, <laughs> you know, what I like to see, as everyone knows, is uh, when we do have a trend-like move, like this, uh, that uh, we correct more than 38.2% retracement. Is this more than 38.2? Yes. Is it materially more? No. We do have to stay below that 38.2 to show that the sellers really mean business. Uh, and uh, what we did was instead was uh, find support buyers against this trend line and move back to the upside. So we've got to get below the 125.24 level and stay below that level. Then we have to get below these other levels on the downside, including the trend line. And then uh, when that's done, uh, we have uh, two key mo daily moving averages. The 200-day moving average comes in at 124.84. The 100-day uh, moving average comes in around 124. What is that? 55-ish. And then the 50% retracement of the same move higher from the November low to the November high comes in at 124.559. Uh, all that is uh, is uh, hard levels to get to and through. But the first thing first, we need to get below this uh, trend line that current comes in right above the 125 level uh uh and if we uh, break below that level then it opens the door for further downside and we'll see what happens then on the top side again uh, stay below the 125 8, 58 to 68 level that's a, a quick look at the uh, sterling versus us dollar after the us jobs report my name is greg mccloskey good fortune with your trading bye bye now